Hi, I'm Mark, and I collect things. Sometimes I haven't played things, and today we're going to be opening Hero DC Chapter 3 Hybrid NFT Trading Cards. It's been a while since I've done a Hero Pack opening. I went after Chapter 2, and events pretty hard, a little too early, I think. So I've been taking it a little slower here with Chapter 3. For the pack odds on what we can get, Epics are 1 out of every 1.2 packs, Legendaries 1 out of every 6 packs, and Mythics 1 out of every 281 packs. So very tough to pull Mythics. We're going to go ahead and open up one of the four packs, one of the eight packs, and one of the 24 pack mega boxes. All right, we'll start here with this four pack. The previous hybrid sets did have a two pack. So chapter one and chapter two did have a two pack hanger, but for chapter three, I think they got rid of that. And now there's just the four pack and the eight pack and the 24 pack. And the top card is one of the common location cards. Dark Side Uncommon, John Constantine Common, Captain Cold Uncommon, and here's our Epic Foil for the pack. Verdanian versus Starfire, pretty high mint, 50,000 on that one. Then our two Shazam movie tie-in cards, a Common and a Superior of Freddie Freeman. A lot's happened since my last Hero video. A lot of the reward stuff has progressed. Uh, there have been some new crafting events, and there's a new digital set coming out pretty soon. Common of King Atlan's Tomb. Then a really nice superior of Batman. Decent four-digit men on this one, 3,045. What a great-looking inks this is. Next up is a Brainiac Common. Green Lantern Uncommon. The Cheetah Common. And our two movie cards, Shazam. And, oh, here's a Legendary. Magic from the Shazam 2 movie tie-in. Going to get a sleeve for this one. And the print quality looks pretty good on this. The Chapter 2 movie cards had pretty evident print lines on a lot of the Black Adam movie cards that are similar, legendaries that are similar to this. Always happy to pull a legendary out of a four-pack box. All right, next pack. The Chapter 1 Hybrid Reward Cards have all been distributed finally. I think I placed number 207 on Chapter 1, so I got 8 out of the 9 reward cards. Here's a 4-digit Superior right on top, 8476. Catwoman Uncommon. Red Room Common. Batman Common. Decent 4-digit, 4467. Here's an Epic. Kyle Rayner, Guy Gardner. And for our movie cards, got an uncommon four digit 7150 Power of Shazam and a common. All of the season one reward cards are original commissioned artwork. They look pretty cool and they are animated in the app and they form a nine card puzzle when you put them all together. It'd be very cool if they end up being physical cards that we could redeem in the future. They look really nice in a binder, I think. It's a common location Gotham's Chinatown on Ice. Superior of Aquaman, very intricate pencils card. I love the artwork on this one. Harley Quinn four digits, 7389 on that uncommon. Another common location, Hall of Doom. An Amazo common. And then for our movie cards, a common and an epic. And then finally, that bonus eighth card exclusive to the four pack. Here's Hespera. I do think this is original artwork created for the set. All right, next up, we'll open up the eight pack box, and this should have two of the exclusive cards of Billy Batson and Shazam in it. If you'd like to see more trading card and digital collectible related videos, I encourage you to consider liking and subscribing. That would help out my channel. Right, so we've got eight packs. Two of them should have eight cards in it, so these two. And they'll have that extra premium finish movie card in them. The Hero Hybrid Chapter 2 snapshot just happened a few weeks ago in mid-June. And I finished number 86 on that one. Pretty happy with that, but it did take a quite a bit of work to get there. Here's a Green Lantern Superior. Joker Uncommon. Return of the Multiverse Uncommon. Love the artwork on that one. Riddler Common. Got an Epic. Same one we just pulled previously, Gordanian versus Starfire. And for our movie cards, a common, and here's a three-digit 
uncommon 836 very good mint number on that one very happy to pull a three digit out of an eight pack box and get this one in a sleeve all right pack number two from this box so despite all of the chapter two cards that i had purchased i still had to do a lot of trading and i had to bring about 300 dollars to pick up some cards on the market to make sure I stayed in top 100 for the snapshot. There's a common of Granny Goodness, a superior Bane Pencils, Captain Boomerang Jr. Uncommon, Batman Common, the Bill Sienkiewicz artwork, very cool card, an epic Green Lantern and the Flash, decent four digits, 6,030. Four hour movie cards, a common and a superior. I'm slowing down here for chapter three. I'm gonna take my time for chapter two and events. I, I bought a little too much, I think, too early. There did not end up being any kind of a stealth snapshot or any incentive to have collected chapter two or events early. And chapter two, in fact, went on pretty deep discount later. So it would have been better for me to have waited a little bit and picked up chapter two on clearance. Here's a Black Manta Legends. Super cool looking card. The sleeve for that one. And then for our movie cards, a common and an uncommon. I'm very happy though that I was able to finish the top 100 of chapter two. I'll be happy to get all those reward cards. I'll even be getting one of the uncut sheets, which will be my first. One thing to note though, if you collected chapter two and events that the snapshot rewards for those two sets are not going to count towards the end of season rewards. Only the season one snapshot rewards are going to be a factor in the end of season for season one or 2022 rewards. It's a common of Mount Olympus. Superior, Dick Grayson, Uncommon Dr. Fate, another common location, Rogue Safe House. Once again, I really like how they made the locations more interesting in the set. A panel one epic, four digit 5658. And for our movie cards, a common and a superior of Mary Bromfield. All right, next pack. And although the chapter one rewards took a long time to get here, they do seem to have the process nailed down. I think the chapter two rewards are going to get here pretty quickly. All right, so uncommon. A common location of Star Labs. Superior, Patty Spivet. Granny Goodness, four digit, 3810, common, an uncommon of Wonder Woman, flies the invisible plane, and some movie cards, a common, here's a four digit epic, 5687. The event snapshot is coming up here in just a few days, July 6th, I believe. I'm hovering right around 100 on that one. I do have the complete event set. Here's a Riddler common. Lex Luthor calls for Superman Uncommon. Felicity Smoke, Superior. Justice League Common. Our epic is Catwoman and Batman. Mint in the 17,000s. Cool artwork on that one. For the movie cards, an Uncommon and a Common. All right, here's the two packs that have eight cards. The event snapshot that's coming up, if you have the complete 18 card set, including the Mythic, the bonus completion reward card is going to be the backside of Crisis on Infinite Earths number one. That's what I was hoping it would be. It's another common location of the Rogue Safe House. And the top 150 people on the events leaderboard are going to get a hero reward card. Star Labs common. Then the top 300 are going to get a mythic reward card. Bane Superior. Kyle Rayner and Guy Gardner is our epic for the pack. For movie cards, a common and a superior. We should have the premium finish exclusive to the eight pack, Shazam. I mint on this one, 43,000. All right, this other pack should have the Billy Batson exclusive card, I believe, as the last card. All right, so a Convergence Uncommon, another Rogue Safe House. Pulled a lot of these in this box. Joker Uncommon with that cool Alex Ross artwork. Another Star Labs Common. Getting those two quite a bit. Green Arrow Superior, 8,079 four-digit. A Common Shazam. Mary Bromfield Epic. And then we should see the Billy Batson. Another high mint, 20,000 on that one. 
So we did pull a legendary and a three digit out of that eight pack box, so not too bad. All right, moving right along to the 24 pack mega box. So in total, we will have opened 36 packs. For the upcoming event snapshot, there's also an uncut sheet available. The top 25 people on the leaderboard are gonna get the foil uncut sheet. And then 26 through 50 are going to get the matte uncut sheet. I will not be able to qualify for that. It's been very expensive to get events points. I feel pretty happy to be able to just be within the top 150. I hope that'll hold to the snapshot date. Here's a good four digit of Cobra, 2709. Panel one is our epic for the pack. For movie cards, a common and another common. And speaking of the event set, DC recently released their San Diego Comic-Con 2023 booth plans. And the plans do include Hero. They're going to be there with a new limited event set. I assume it's going to be a similar format to the previous event set, but details are not out on it yet. Our epic for the pack is Catwoman and Batman. Our two movie cards got a four-digit superior and an uncommon. It's going to be interesting to see if the events cards are going to be more limited this time or not. Last year's set was initially sold at San Diego Comic Con. It's also sold at a few other cons and then eventually just directly through the Hero website. So they were not very limited and pretty easy to get. In fact, I think they're still in stock right now for $25 a pack. Green Lantern Ink Superior again. Our Epic is Dove. Then for our movie cards, a common, and then another common. Last year I had bought some of the events packs from SDCC at a premium on eBay when the set was first released. Don't think I'm going to be doing that again. Might, maybe just to get a couple packs to open here on my channel, but I don't plan to buy as many as I did last time chasing the set. I'll see if they go up for sale on the Hero website. It's a four-digit uncommon, 65-62. Just something to note for those events packs, last year the pack inside the cardboard box was in a clear cellophane wrapper, so I'd be very careful about buying those anywhere besides the Hero website. Our epic is Batman of Earth-44. negative Our movie cards, Uncommon, and then a Superior, 4 digit, 6226. The Genesis boxes that Hero made did correct that, the pack inside the box is an opaque silver foil pack so you wouldn't be able to search it as easily i'm hoping they've also done something similar for the new event set that they're going to have upcoming at sdcc riddler common general zod superior justice league common and batman superior four digit 3979 captain boomerang common movie cards are a common and then another legendary the same one we previously pulled i think of magic this one is 75.93, and print quality looks pretty good on this again. The end of season one, or season 2022 snapshot, is coming up here in mid-July. And as part of that, I'm trying to stay within the top 100, um, but I'll for sure be within the top 200. Here's an uncommon. And based on that standing, I should be getting quite a bit of free product. Rankings for hybrid up to top 400 on the leaderboard qualify for some free packs. Here's a four digit superior, 8785. Then for digital, I think it's the top 250. I won't be competing on that one, just the hybrid. I think as part of that, they are going to be giving away some of the events packs. So I'm hoping to be able to get some of the new events set through the season one rewards program Dark Side versus Wonder Woman. Epic. And for the movie cards, a common. Uncommon. I'm not quite sure how the timing is going to work though. The snapshot will be before San Diego Comic Con, but I don't know if or when Hero will make those events packs available to the Season 1 leaderboard snapshot. I'll try to put links to all this information in the description of the video, by the way. Wonder Girl Uncommon. John Constantine Common. Uncommon. Atlan's Tomb Common Location. There's a Bane Legend, four digit, 6150. So found two legends in this box so far. I'd like to see some three digits. A common, 
from Superior for our movie cards. I primarily focus on hybrid cards. I did go after some of the previous two digital sets, uh, but I think I'm going to just stick to hybrid. It's been difficult enough to qualify on the various hybrid leaderboards, and I don't really feel like I can compete on the digital leaderboards. Superior, Uncommon, Brainiac Common, Cheetah Common, Got an Epic, another of Gordanian versus Starfire. And for the movie cards, we've got an uncommon and a common. We are the power. And speaking of digital, the new digital set is also dropping. There's just been a ton of hero news recently. Digital set nine is coming out and it's focused on the flash. It looks very good, actually. I'm pretty interested in it. It's just hard to compete on the digital leaderboards. But I think it comes out on July 6th, the very same day of the events snapshot. And all the cards are available to view in the app already. So if you're interested in digital, you can go ahead and go in the Hero app or website and check it out. There's a bat plane four digit, 5313. An epic Kyle Rayner and Guy Gardner. For the movie cards, a common and an uncommon. For hybrid, the season one completionist rewards are extremely good. I'll be getting quite a bit of product uh, from achieving that. For digital, the rewards are also very good. Here's a common Batman. Uh, but on the digital side, the completionist does require you to have the hero cards, and those are very expensive. So that kind of keeps me away from wanting to chase the digital sets. If the end of season digital rewards did not include the hero cards, I'd be a little more tempted to chase the completionist for those set for season two. There's panel six epic. And then for our movie cards, an uncommon and a common. I will be watching the singles prices on the market, though, especially after the snapshot date. I don't think I'm going to be ripping any packs from the new Flash set, but I might watch the singles on the market and see if I want to pick them up that way. Lobo Superior, Harley Quinn Uncommon, Dead Man Common, Showcase Common, Dr. Fate Uncommon, Eugene Choi Superior, and then an Epic of Darla Dudley. One thing on the digital side that I have had a lot of fun with lately are the new puzzle crafting rewards. So there's a new way to spend your hero reward points in the app. They're on the second puzzle card right now. Previously, they already did a Harley Quinn puzzle where for four weeks, there was a puzzle piece available for hero points. And if you got all four of the puzzle pieces, you could use them to craft a superior animated Harley Quinn card. Very cool. Right now, they are in the middle of doing the same thing for the Flash. There's going to be four Flash puzzle pieces. If you get them all, then you can combine them and craft them into a Flash animated superior card. Our epic is White Canary versus Black Canary. And for the movie cards, an uncommon and a common. The point costs are pretty expensive. I think it's, it's like 2,400 to 3,000-ish points. Uh, for each puzzle piece and also to craft the final card so you need to spend your points five times so it's somewhere between twelve thousand and fifteen thousand total points great looking superman inks but it's it's well worth it it's something fun to do with your points if you have some in the app they're supposed to start rewarding or air dropping points to collectors i they forecast that to be at the end of q2 i think um but we're into july now and that hasn't gotten started yet i would expect to see that at any time a four-digit panel two in the 9,000s. And then for the movie cards, a common and another common. I definitely like the idea, though, of having a good point sink for those hero points and then an incentive for collectors to maintain a good collection to get airdrop those points that they can then spend on these puzzle cards or for other similar crafting events. There's an uncommon. Lex Luthor calls for Superman. I got super lucky on one of my Harley Quinn puzzle pieces. I ended up getting an A13 piece. I think it was on the very first one. And look at this. Here's an A224 Wonder Woman Uncommon. Finally got a three digit out of this box. Hopefully we'll see one more, but not sure if we will or not. Set that one down for a sleeve for sure. And then behind it, a Reverse Flash Legendary. So this is a great pack. Should be finding one more Legendary at least in this box. And then for the movie cards, a Common and an Uncommon. So on the, on the A13 Harley Quinn puzzle piece I pulled, I actually sold it on the market for $200. I was extremely happy with that, considering that it was more or less free. I just had to spend my hero points on it. If you're collecting uh, on the digital side, one of the cool things about those puzzle pieces is that the both the individual 
puzzle pieces that you can redeem for, and then the final crafted card are both worth points towards the digital leaderboard. So there is an incentive to collect and hold on to both the individual pieces and then the final card at the end. Another Star Labs location, common. Four digit in the 9,000 superior. And for our movie cards, a common and then an epic. I like the layer of gamification that these puzzle pieces add. You could hold on to the pieces to get more points on the digital leaderboard, or you could just sell or trade them or use them to craft the animated superior card and collect those. Hopefully they'll be doing that on a consistent basis. Green of Goodness Common, Riddler Common, and four digit, the Interceptor Uncommon, 7134, Panel 4 Epic, Freddy Freeman Superior, and a Common Superpowers. So even though I don't focus on the digital sets very much, I'll definitely be using my hero points and the app to get as many of the puzzle pieces and animated cards as I can. It's a fun thing to participate in. Lois Lane, Superior. Justice League, Common. President Luther, Four-Digit, Uncommon. Gotham's Chinatown in Ice, Common. Got a really low four digit 1618 Green Lantern in the Flash. That'll be some good leaderboard points. For the movie cards, a common and another really low four digit 1654 Uncommon. That was a great pack. So we got both an epic 1618 and an uncommon movie tie in 1654. Very good leaderboard points. I've been wondering if the next hybrid set might be coming out pretty soon or not. So they've got the limited edition set coming out at San Diego Comic-Con. Would not be surprised if later in the summer or early fall, a new hybrid set comes out. And I'm wondering what movie they're going to tie it into. The obvious candidates in my mind are Blue Beetle and Aquaman 2. Let me know down in the comments what you think the next big hybrid set is going to be related to. And for that matter, what do you think the next limited edition set will be? The previous limited edition event set was all comic covers, and they all had to do with the multiverse. It was a very cool set. I liked it. Um, I do kind of hope that the next limited event set is purely comic focused and not movie related. Let me know what you think that set might be and what movie you think they're going to tie in the next big hybrid chapter four set to. The epic panel number three. And then uncommon and superior for our Shazam movie tie-ins. I do wish that chapter three had been for the Flash movie instead of the Shazam 2 movie. It doesn't look like the Flash movie is doing very good in the box office, but it's a lot more interesting to me than the Shazam 2 movie. Uncommon movies chair. Common Cheetah. Common Dark Side. Common the Red Room location. Uncommon, and here's a, another Legendary from the Shazam movie. So this is our fourth Legendary out of the box. This one is damaged quite a bit, though. The print quality in general seems to be pretty good on Chapter 3. Better than Chapter 2, especially on the foils. But wow, this, this car just got completely mangled here on the bottom right. All right, I think we've got four packs left. Let me know down in the comments if you are still collecting Hero or not. And if you are... Oh, wow. That is a great mint number. A 153. So we did pull another three-digit. And it's even lower than the other one. Superior Superman, 153. Very good. Very pleased with that one. Let me know, though, if you are collecting on the digital side or the hybrid side or both. I'll be taking Chapter 3 a lot slower than Chapter 2. Good four digit mint, Death Storm versus Captain Cold. And then for the movie cards, got a superior and a common. All right, so we didn't find any mythics in this box, but we got very good three digit cards so far. I do plan to keep on collecting the hybrid sets. I don't know that I will go for the end of season rewards um, as hard as I did for season one or season 2022. It's pretty difficult to keep up. Um, to be in the top 100 for chapter two. So I, I don't know if I'll attempt that again. I'm just kind of see what I open up. My packs, maybe if I get really lucky, I'll chase top 100 again. Oh, wow. Here's a third 
three digit out of this box on this epic panel five 948 so very good box very pleased with this one common and then uncommon for our movie cards by the way this batch of cards came from best buy i had ordered these right at the time of release i do have some cards from hero still that i've yet to open but this particular set of one of each skew came from best buy all right here's the penultimate pack of this video surprised that we got three three digits out of this box here's an uncommon catwoman superior dick grayson common cobra uncommon convergence our epic is jay garrick really nice alex ross artwork then a common and superior for the movie cards all right one final pack we'll see if we have any last pack magic maybe one more legendary Common Arkham Asylum, uncommon, four digit, 2753 for this Joker card. Common location of Mount Olympus, superior Patty Spivet. We did get another legendary, so what a box this was. Stargirl in the 14,000s, five legendaries and three three digits, uncommon and a common for our movie cards. All right, so to recap, we did pretty good. Nothing super crazy. But in the first four pack box, we did get a legendary. Then in the eight pack box, we got a three digit and a legendary. So pretty good. And then in the 24 pack mega box, we got a five legendary box. So beat the odds on that one. And then we got three three digits, two of them very low. A 224 on this uncommon, 153 on the superior, and then 948 on this epic. If you enjoyed this video and like to see more hero and trading card related content, I encourage you to consider liking and subscribing. That would help out my channel. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.